Hey everybody, it's Chrono 600 Gaia. I just want to let you know I'm glad that you all watched this series and kept up with it for me as long as you could. I gotta say, this was not an easy project for me to work on at all, because for one, I said numerous times on the Link Centric Dudes, I mean this commentary series for this game still isn't done yet, but I said in a few different episodes that this isn't exactly my kind of game because I played it so much in my youth that 
I just couldn't find what was so special about it. I mean, I've come to respect the game a lot more now, and I do like it more now. But, it's gonna be a while before I go back to it again, just because it took me so long to do it. I mean, not just recording, but life events, editing now that I actually have a good enough program to edit my content, and so many other factors that got in the way. This was originally a birthday gift that I had bought for my brother Jared for his... This game is 2001, so his 9th or 10th birthday. I forgot whether it was the year this game came out or the following year, but I got it as a 9th, 10th birthday gift for him. And... Unfortunately, I spoiled the surprise for him because I told it what it was because I was too young to remember. Don't tell your brother or your friend what the gift is. And I did it anyway, but... We had a lot of fun over it, but we still missed playing Mario Party 2 because we only ever rented that from Blockbuster, which is why I was so happy when I got it on Virtual Console for the Wii. Uh, nonetheless, Shy Ranger, I gotta give a huge shout out to you on this. I'm so glad you asked me to do this game for you because if you hadn't forced me to, well I shouldn't say forced, but if you hadn't asked me to play through the story mode of this game, I doubt I ever would have cared so much about it now. Overall, I like how there is a wider variety of mini games with this game here, but I still think Mario Party 2 had the mini games that I found more enjoyable because I don't know. I, I think it was just the mechanics were better for those games to me, and also I thought they were more memorable since it was earlier on in the series. Still, this is a game that I'd underrated for so long, and I'm glad I finally got to play it now. I have no regrets about this game. No regrets now at all. Now, I'll go back to it one day, but I doubt I'll play the story mode again just because now that I finally have everything from story mode, including the three bonus mini games, I'm sure, I don't see what the point is in going through story mode again other than to play it on hard to see how lucky I really can be. I mean, most video games are based on skill, obviously, but <laughs> this Mario Party is called the game that ruins friendship for a reason, or game that ruins friendships. It's because... <laughs> It's all luck-based. So I don't want to play a whole story that's based on luck again unless someone really wants me to. So you know what, Shy Ranger? You want me to try this game on hard? I'll take on your challenge, but it'll only be a let's try because I probably won't want to go through it again now that I know what the plot's all about. Just people duking it out trying to get the Millennium Star, which is just a white version of a star man with rainbows. That reminds me, the ending when the fake Millennium Star just bails on you like that, and then the real one ends up being in Tumble's head the entire time, I just thought, this is so much like the Wizard of Oz. How evil. You could have just given me the star there. Oh, I mean, you had to earn it there, but I guess Wizard of Oz was more evil because Glinda, I believe the witch's name was, didn't explain to Dorothy that all she had to do was click her heels so she could go home right away. But, I mean, it's the same thing, where it's in your face the entire time on what you're looking for, and then you don't get it. That's why I feel the ending of this game is so much like that of The Wizard of Oz in that sense. Also, the worlds are kind of similar, too, if you look at the background art in Wizard of Oz, since they're all painted walls. Uh. But, yeah, I was originally hesitant on playing this game because I didn't like it as much as I could have because I played it so many times and I wasn't interested in playing the story mode. But after being the story, I do not regret playing this game at all. Now that I know what the whole basis of the excitement with this game was. And you know what, Jimmy? I completely understand why you asked me to play as Luigi now. It makes so much sense. I'm still more of a Mario man, personally. Yeah, Luigi fans, go ahead and hate, but... Yeah, I'm still more of a Mario man, just because... <laughs> Mario's more of a memorable character to me, since he's the main IP of the series. But, still, playing as Luigi, Luigi actually is the protagonist for once. Unfortunately, it's all based on luck, which is something Luigi lacks, which makes it very ironic, but... Still, not bad overall. Excuse me. Now, I don't think I'm going to give away all my thoughts on this game, even though I gave away quite a few, because my cohorts on the Link Centric Dudes and I still have yet to complete the commentary series on this game, and obviously, since this is the last part, we haven't commented on this part yet. But, 
I figured I'd give my own personal thoughts out now without any interruptions, just so I can personally reflect on what a technological adventure this game was for me since I bought it for my brother back in the early 2000s. And, like I said, I don't regret it in the end. It was worth the trouble I went through, despite the fact that it took me three years to beat it, because I originally had a raffle in 2012 for my three-year anniversary where I would choose five random subscribers over the course of five days to suggest games to me. One person, I think I sort of fulfilled their request because they asked me to do more N64 games. The other person, I think I'm going to do a let's try of Resident Evil Code Veronica for them because they wanted me to play a Resident Evil game. But James, or Shy Ranger, originally wanted me to play Paper Mario, but because I hadn't owned it, nor am I any good at role-playing games, he, he decided, okay, why don't you do Mario Party 3 instead, and I figured, okay, I have that, and I don't exactly want to do it, but if it makes you happy, I'll do it. And it took me three years, and there were many cases where I wanted to quit on these projects, but I'm glad I did it. I'll, obviously, like I said, I don't know if I'll go back to it again, but it was fun. It was fun. And I'll do it again only if people absolutely want me to, because I will not do it willingly, that's for sure. Oh, hi, fake Millennium Star, who forced me to play through a bunch of crap that I didn't want to play through. And hi, Tumble, you little... scammer, or whatever the proper word would be in that case. But anyways, that's all I really have to say about Mario Party 3 as of now. If you want to hear the rest of my thoughts, you'll eventually hear them as the commentaries for Mario Party 3 go along on Link-centric dudes. So now all the characters are just having... a relaxing day at Peach's Castle. So, thanks for watching again. Glad you spent the time with me, and I'm glad you endured this. Good night. Thank you for watching.